when a child goes through a coaching program, let's say a JE coaching program or a NEET coaching program or a CET coaching program, what matters is at the end of the day, where the child finally took admission, in which college, in which branch and enrolled in which degree, whether it's B.Tech or B.E. or MBBS course or whichever course, that's what matters. So ultimately a seat matters. But what is happening because of some propaganda for the last 30 years across different coaching institutions in the nation is, uh, ranks are hyped up, ranks are projected. Please understand, a child writes an entrance examination, gets certain marks, those marks get converted into percentiles, percentiles get converted to ranks and finally ranks get converted to seats. Now seat has to be talked about, right? where the child finally got placed, in which college, which branch, what degree. But instead of seat, what is projected is ranks. And the simple reason why probably coaching institutions are shy of projecting placements shy of displaying their placements and just want to harp on ranks is perhaps, this is my guess, it's my conjecture, is because either they are not able to convert ranks into seats or the number of ranks that they get is far more than the number of students who eventually get into those prestigious colleges. For example, the IITs, you might have an institution claiming we got XYZ number of ranks, but out of which only maybe about 20% or 30% of those ranks got converted into an IIT seat. And this happens very commonly because in IIT, there are almost 40 to 50,000 seats de uh, ranks declared every year, but there are only about 15 to 16,000 seats. And therefore, the number of students who eventually get a seat out of those 50 odd thousand students who get a rank is just 1 is to 3, 1 is to 4 kind of a ratio. And therefore, uh, just to hide or conceal this fact, this may be done. This is one possible reason that could be there. Second reason also could be uh, most coaching institutions for J and NEET uh, do help students, do guide and mentor them till they get a rank. But from rank to seat conversion is a different process of post selection counseling where you need to understand case by case on a one to one basis the child's aspirations, the child's talents, the child's strengths and weaknesses and accordingly guide the child to choose a particular college and branch. There are various things which are involved. It's not just a child's decision, it's a family decision. And therefore, if the coaching institution has to sit with the family to make this collective decision as to which college, which branch the child must eventually join, which will help the child to prosper the most in every possible way. Uh, there are cultural sensibilities, there are security based concerns which parents have about various regions, uh, there are um, interests of students, there is a scope, career scope or what salary package is offered, what kind of opportunities are available within the country, outside the nation, based on a host of parameters, you have to make a decision and it's not a simple task by itself. Most coaching institutions are specialized uh, to coach students on the subjects of the entrance exams, how to crack the entrance exam. But how to convert that rank which the student gets into a seat is a different type of specialization which very few coaching institutions have. This may be another reason why many coaching institutions since they don't do any work or don't give any guidance on converting ranks to seats, they don't talk about it and they basically conceal it. So these are possible reasons why coaching institutions might be uh, fighting shy of uh, displaying placements. But credible coaching institutions will always display the placements of their students boldly on their websites. They want the world to know where their students finally landed up. And that becomes very important because then you also understand as a coaching institution, parents, students also who are junior to them also understand where the, the, their seniors went and then they can connect with them to find out more about that particular college, that particular branch so that they can make informed decisions when they have come at a point where they have to make their career decision. So this is a very good practice to display placements uh, for any credible coaching institution. It basically lends a lot of transparency to the uh, learning outcomes that a coaching institution has had eventually and this is the best way to display results for a coaching institution. So ideally if it is not done by any particular coaching institution, I think every one who is in the competitive exam circuit must start this practice of displaying final placements of students rather than just ranks. Some of them are already doing it and that's a very encouraging sign but every coaching institution must ideally do so. That's my appeal to everyone. Thank you so much.